so happy. Hello everyone, welcome to So Aldo. On today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to alter this dress into a modest dress. So if you want to see how, keep on watching. So the quickest way to add sleeve on this dress is add a t-shirt underneath it. So that way this is going to be permanent and um, you don't have to worry about, you know, losing the t-shirt that goes with the dress. I purchased this from Walmart, I believe, for like $5. And yeah, and I, I think I got the dress from Ross Dress for Less for like $12. Good morning, beautiful. Now I am going to put the t-shirt on the dress form. If you don't have a dress form, you can just try it on and pin it while you are wearing the dress or you can just lay it on the table. Which one you prefer, it will work. Just be sure that there are no wrinkles on the t-shirt. I'm going to put the dress on the dress form as well to figure out where I want the dress neckline to sit on the t-shirt that I know where I want the dress neckline to sit, I am going to pin it along the edge of the dress neckline. I am going to pin it all the way to the back of the dress. On the neckline of the dress, you can be really creative with this. You can change the neckline into different shape like straight or even curved. It's totally up to you. I decided to just kind of make it into a sweetheart neckline instead. I won't be needing the straps so I am going to cut them off. Now I am going to change the neckline. As you can see, I am just tracing a curve right on the pointy end of the neckline. Then I will trim it off and the fabric that I trim off the neckline, I am going to use it as a template. So both sides are going to be symmetrical. I put back the t-shirt on the dress form one more time. I could have done this earlier when I was tracing the neckline, but I didn't. So I am redoing it again. So basically, I am putting them on the dress form, the t-shirt, and the dress wrong side out. So I can trace the neckline this time. Just be sure that you are pinning on the center fold or center of the t-shirt and center of the dress. So as you can see, I placed the very first pin at the center of the t-shirt as you can see I took in the sides of the dress by about one half inch on both sides just to make it more fitted I did it long time ago that's why it's not included in this video now using a washable crayon I am going to follow the neckline of the dress and I'm going to mark the center fold as well Wow, I love the combination of this plain fabric against the white t-shirt. So navy blue and white, just like a perfect summary combination. When you are tracing along the underarm seam, be sure that you are not cutting or tracing on the actual sleeve. It needs to be under the sleeve. To make sure that it is symmetrical, I'm going to fold Grab the center fold of the, the front and I'm just going to fold it like this. Okay. And then it should look like this. As you can see, I'm just going to cut along the line right here and be sure to add one half inch seam allowance. I almost forgot to do that by the way. save this for later like making mask that would be really good now that i have this quirky little top now it's time to sew it on the dress so i'm going to match right sides of the fabrics first easiest way is put the dress in the t-shirt and be sure that the right sides of the fabrics are facing and you are just going to match the center of the dress, the center fold, and the side seams so it's much easier to pin so it's not confusing if you do it that way. 
If you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it that you are staying with me in this tutorial. By the way, this is a perfect sewing project for beginner just because you are just going to combine two ready-made pieces already. This dress doesn't require any sewing patterns, so it is super easy. I know you can do it. After I pin the two pieces together, I am going to unzip the zipper so I don't accidentally sew over it. I'm going to start sewing right here all the way around until I reach the other end of the zipper teeth. I am doing about one half inch seam allowance by the way if you are wondering and I'm just using a regular straight stitch just because the dress is a it's non-stretch so it's not gonna do us any good if we use a stretch stitch. The back of the zipper look like I need to fix the other side as you can see I wasn't close enough to the zipper teeth. Make sure you backstitch so it doesn't unravel. By the way, this is my first oh my initial God, reaction. So cute. Oh my goodness, it is cute. I love it. And the back, I can still zip it. See, right there. So that's it you guys and I hope you like this simple and quick tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. Until next time, bye!